program aiming to keep a young athlete safe is gearing up to roll out in high schools all across Georgia. And our Liza Lucas is getting a first look with teens and some of the state's best in sports medicine to bring you more of the mission and the technology behind it. You gotta try to dodge the tacklers coming at you. This may not be what comes to mind when you think about high school football, but take it from Jalen Ferguson, a player at Flowery Branch High School. Looking a little bit like Desmond Ritter. This routine is harder than it looks. Jalen, part of a special group of students helping pilot a new program alongside the Emory Sports Performance and Research Center. Well, injury prevention is really at all time high right now. It's called the Gives Program, the Georgia Initiative for Virtual Reality, Education and Sports. And it's all about leveraging virtual reality to test athlete skills. Students walked us through one of the simulations. There's actually a virtual kind of board right here. There's nine different buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's touching them as quickly as they can and that will tell him his speed and eye coordination. It gives us a lot of information. The VR technology allows researchers to gather valuable data, ultimately helping young athletes reduce risk of injuries, not to mention improve their game. Dr. Greg Meyer is the director of the Emory Sports Performance and Research Center. He says the program is about taking two decades of research that's normally used in labs or with pro athletes and spreading that knowledge to young athletes and coaches across the state. We're going to get this into underserved rural and urban area, and these athletes that would never even get access access to, to the best health care. Now we're going to prevent, cut that injury off at the pass and actually try to prevent it. The program piloting right now in Hall County, home of the Atlanta Falcons practice facility, with plans to expand to high schools across Georgia. And I think it's a really good change. It's going to help. Students from Cherokee Bluff, Flowery Branch, and West Hall High Schools, all a key part of the program's expansion statewide. The students part of a work-based learning program, and they'll be trained to use the VR technology, then deploy to help other schools and their peers. That's be, really cool. It'll be great to see it spread. I mean, when we were in mm. high school, we had nothing like that. But Not the technology that's out there right now is incredible. Yeah, and you got to use it to help, you know. Mm -hmm. And so if this will be a tool that can help keep our athletes healthy and injury free, that's all worth it's it. Worth